of the Hoover Dam power plant. And as we saw in the diagram downstairs, there are two wings. This one, then behind me is the Colorado River, and across that is the Arizona wing. As you're looking down the bay, you'll see our eight generators. There are nine more over on the Arizona side, so we have a total of 17. These generators are seven stories in height, but you're only seeing the top 30 feet of it. However, look in the gray area, you'll see a lighted window. And in that window, you'll see a steel shaft. Well, that steel shaft actually goes down below the floor 40 more feet where it hooks up to the Francis Styles reaction turbine that we talked about on our first stop. Our generators have an output of 130 megawatts. One megawatt equals one million watts. So let's see, which generator is online? Um, N3 is online. That, I can tell because it, its light is lit on top. N1, it's not online because the uh, light bulb isn't lit. So N3, output 130 megawatts. Right now it is providing enough electricity for 60,000 homes. If we had all 17 of our generators online, our output would be 2,080 megawatts or enough power for 1,300,000 homes. Now inside the red part of our generator is where the stator is and spinning within that stator is the rotor. It has 40 electromagnets attached to the outside and it weighs approximately 560 tons. It spins in the stator at the rate of 180 rotations per minute. And when it does that, with the electromagnets charged, it excites the electrons in the copper coilings and electricity is produced. Now in case you're wondering how the workers were able to assemble these generators, since their parts are obviously very large and heavy, just look down the band up towards the ceiling. You're going to see two large green ridge cranes. One of them is way down there at the end, but the other one is right in front of you displaying the American flag. Each of these is capable of lifting 300 tons, and when we put them together, Together, they can lift the 600 tons necessary for many of the parts inside these generators such as that rotor. They move up and down the bay on that black rail you see on the ledge across the way and their source of power comes from those orange rails above it. And speaking of their source of power, I'd like to direct your attention now back down to the bay floor. There's a rust colored object in a fenced in area. It's our Pelton water wheel generator. There are two here, this one and one across the river in Arizona. They each have an output of 2.4 megawatts and they're important to us because they provide the electricity that we use here at the power plant, the Hoover Dam and the Visitor Center for all of our electrical needs such as lights, air conditioning, the elevators and those bridge cranes right over there. This was the very first generator to go online here at the power plant on September 11th, 1936. First commercial generator is N2 there. One month later, October 22nd, 1936. But the very last generator to go online here is also on the Nevada side, N8, all the way down there at the end. But it didn't go online for another 25 years, December of 1961. All right, let's orient you on where you are in relation to the other structures. Remember, we're on the Nevada wing of the power plant. Behind me is the Colorado River, and across the Colorado River is the Arizona Way. That means that to my right and behind you folks right there is a big concrete wall. On the other side of that wall is Hoover Dam, and on the other side of Hoover Dam is Lake Mead. We're approximately 400 feet lower than the surface of the lake right now. But remember, we are not underwater because we're on the river side. And at this elevation, there is 450 feet of concrete that is separating us from the 4 trillion gallons of water that are currently in Lake Mead. That is a 4 followed by 12 zeros. Now at the top, Hoover Dam is 45 feet thick, gradually increasing in thickness as we descend to the base where it is 660 feet thick. Think of two football fields. And if you need a visual on that, go from the wall we were looking at, follow clear down to the end of the bay. That is 650 feet. We still have to go 10 more feet.